Hey friends, it's Natasha. In today's video, I'm going to show you Evan Moore Skill Sharpener Spell and Write Grade 6. We used Spell and Write Grade 5 last year. I have a video on that I will link, but this is Grade 6. It has 104 spelling words and it covers punctuation plus test practice and of course spelling. It has different themes which I really love. Okay, so each of the 12 units is based on a fun theme and includes a story or article, a spelling list, spelling activities, grammar and punctuation exercises, writing skills, and test practice. Eight activity pages provide meaningful spelling and writing practice for each of those 12 units, and each unit ends with an assessment with questions presented in standardized test format plus an actual spelling test. So unit one is Tall Tale Heroes. Number two is At Your Fingertips. Unit three is Elizabeth Blackwell. Unit four is The Duckbilled Platypus. Unit five is The Grand Canyon. Unit six is Amazing Morse. Unit seven is Race of Mercy. Unit eight is The Olympic Flame. Unit nine is Inuit Snowhouses. Unit 10 is Microgravity. Unit 11 is Meat Eating Plants. And unit 12 is The Pony Express. So as you can see, covers different science and social studies topics and incorporates the spelling right into it. This first page is always where you're supposed to read the story and find the different spelling words in the story. Then on the next page you have spelling practice. So they're going to read and spell, copy and spell, and spell it again. Then you have a little word search here. And then you have missing words, sentence endings, Vocabulary match, spell a Moodle. It, this is write each spelling word on the outline of the drawing. You may use the words more than once. For fun, decorate the drawing. My Tall Tale Hero. So this is where you're gonna get into some writing. And then My Tall Tale. And then there's this checklist here to edit your work. And then here is the assessment. So this is where you take your spelling test and they also answer these questions, testing their grammar skills, and then they're going to edit the sentence correctly. And so that is the same format throughout. Then we get at the next unit at your fingertips, and you can see that it starts off the same way. But after those first couple pages where it has, you know, find your spelling words, the spelling practice, um, after that kind of stuff, the, the other pages will be slightly different. As you can see, we're doing synonyms and antonyms here and joining sentences. Got the word search and the spell noodle like before, but then we have my fingerprints and then mysterious fingerprints with an edit your work. So while the, the units follow the same basic style, some of the worksheets will be different. Whoops, I skipped the page. We have the test. Then we get into Elizabeth Blackwell again, the find it, spelling practice. We'll check. Now we're working on pronouns in this unit. And we've always got the missing words in the spell noodle. And we have poetry time and then our writing exercise here with our little assessment there. So you can see it always includes spelling practice and writing practice and some sort of grammar practice in it as well. And it always has that little editing checklist as well. So you see here we're working on comma corrections. So each unit focuses on some different skill. My daughter really enjoyed this. This was one of her favorite pieces of curriculum, I guess you could say last year and she asked to have this book again. It's nice and colorful and as you can see the units are all color coded which is cool. I like how it incorporates the writing into it. The Spell and Moodle pages were her least favorite pages. So that's just basically where they're writing the spelling words on the outline of the drawing, and then you can decorate the drawing. She didn't love that, but she loved everything else. So, 
for a meat eating plant. So these are great too to keep like this, tear out this page where it's got their writing and then their assessment. Those are great to keep for a portfolio if you have to turn something like that in. Okay, then we have the test your skills record form. So you're going to record their correct answers for the test your skills, so for these five questions, and then how many spelling words that they actually got right. And then we have our pull-out spelling list. So this is what I would use to give the spelling tests. And then of course we have answer key in the back. So there's only 12 units, only 144 words. So it depends if you wanna make this a core curriculum or not. We did last year. This year we are adding an additional spelling program to it. But basically what we've done is one worksheet a day, just like one, not, not even front and back, just one. And if you do it like that, then you finish it, you know, over the school year. So that's basically what we did. We just did one worksheet a day, one side of one worksheet per day. My daughter is a really good speller. And so um, she is working a grade ahead in this. There is no placement test, but I would say just go onto Evan Moore's website. You can look at all of their books online and you can take a look at the words in each level and decide which one would be appropriate for your child since there isn't an actual placement test. So really, you can choose how to use it if you wanna use it just as a singular you know, program or if you wanna use it as a supplement. They intend it for a supplement. So it is um, intended for a supplement. Um, but last year we did use it as a full program because she is kind of a natural speller and so, um, you know, it was fine with one worksheet a day, but it's only 144 words. So if you want your child to have more words than that in the course of a school year, you would need to just use this as a supplement. So I think it can go either way depending on your needs and wants. So I hope that was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful to you. And don't forget to subscribe if you love all things homeschool. And I'll see you in the next one.